everybody my name is Kushboo and today we are going to discuss a top interview question from Lead Court. So I am starting this new series about top interview questions. Uh, so this intro is going to be a bit longer because I want to give you uh, the insights about what we are going to cover in this series. If you are just here for the question you can just skip to this timestamp and yeah. So talking about this series, as most of us are either preparing for some kind of interview for our internships or something or are in general brushing up our problem solving skills. So I thought let's do this together. So we are going to take a question every day from lead code from top interview question section and we are going to discuss that and we are not just going to discuss the optimized solution we are going to discuss the thinking process also at the end of every video i am going to tell you the question for the next day so that you can try try that question out and next day we are going to discuss that question if you are stuck in any question and want me to make a video on it you can just put it in the comments below and i will try to cover it in further videos so let's jump into today's question so our today's question is rotate image so in this question we have given this array and we have to rotate that 90 degrees so let's think together how we can get to the solution so rotate image means we have to rotate our image by 90 degrees for example we have this array so we have to rotate it like this so our first column have converted into our first row the second column into second row and the third column into third row if we have to just get this pattern finally we can just create an empty array and then fill the values according to this pattern but this is not the case this is violating our space rule so what can we do let's think about the options that we have with this matrix so that we can change the values we can we can change the order of the columns or maybe we can change the order of rows or maybe we can swap the values but how can we get from this solution to this solution this is a little bit tough so let's try to make this problem shorter so let's take a shorter grid the smallest grid is 1 but if we change it it is 1 so it is of no use so let's take a next grid so this is our grid so let's see how can we change this initial grid to our final grid by just swapping or changing the order of rows now let's try to make this problem more shorter so let's say we just want to make the first row similar the one is common in both we have to just change this two with the three so if we can change this two with this three then our half quotient will be sorted so we have to just swap these two elements so from one two three four if we swap these two elements we will get one three two and four okay so can we just make a relation in these two matrix these are just mirror images of each other or we can say the order of the columns is just different so if we just change the order of their column we will get our final matrix that is what we needed so we have just swapped the elements diagonally and mirrored the matrix so let's say that if this works in other examples also or is it just a bad approach so we have to get this matrix from this matrix so let's try our approach so firstly we have to swap the elements diagonally 1 5 9 these are the diagonal elements so they will remain same 2 with 4 so it is 2 it is 4 we will change our 3 with 7 so it is 3 here it is 7 and we will change our 8 with 6 so it is 6 it is 8 now we have to mirror our matrix so we are mirroring our matrix so it will become 7 8 9 then 4 5 6 and then 1 2 and 3 and we got our answer 
So this was the correct intuition. So we got to know how we can solve this problem. But one might say, maybe I don't want to make the first row equal. So how will we be able to solve the problem? But that was not compulsory. We can get the intuition by trying different approaches. So let's see if we can get the same answer with other approach also. So in the previous approach, we tried to make the first row equal. But if someone says that I don't want to make first row equal, maybe I will get the idea of making first column equal. So what can I do? So let's try to make the first column equal. So we have three in common. So we have to just make this one change into this four. So if we can swap this one with this four, then I think we can get a sorted life. So we, we, we are swapping this value. So can we get any connection in these two metrics? Yeah, they are again mirror of each other. So if we just mirror this matrix, then we will get our final answer. So we compare the first row and later first column. Maybe we can compare second row and maybe second column. So there are no particular steps, but we just have to get the intuition that how we can solve this problem. So I hope this helped you. The link to the code for this solution in both C++ and Python is in the description below. Also, the question we are going to discuss tomorrow is bag of tokens. The link to the question is in description below. You can definitely check that out. And please subscribe to this channel if you want to get notification every time I post the solution. And I will see you all tomorrow. Till then, try the question. Bye-bye.